I'm in PowerSchool. I've logged in, and now I want to go access my class pages. This is where I post course materials, where I post assignments and collect assignments digitally, and it's also where I can post my syllabus and course links. So I click over here on class pages. Okay, so here we are. This is where I can post files, post links, create quizzes or assignments for one of my courses. Which course am I viewing? Physics B, but I know this is honors physics. To view your other courses, you click here at the top. By clicking one of these blocks, you can access course pages for the other courses that you teach. You can change the year by clicking on this dropdown, or you can change the semester that you're viewing. To get out, click this X in the top right corner. The first thing I want to do is call this Honors Physics. I want to give it a nickname. So I click on Manage Class, and I click on this gear icon. Then I choose the first drop-down option, Class Settings. Right here under Class Name, I'm going to type in the course as I would like to see it. So I like to see the course title, the level, I like to see the block, and I also like to see the semester, so I'm going to put S2 for semester 2. You don't have to change the URL, but if you want to change the web address where your course page is located, you can type something more customized like on phys D semester 2. The next thing we want to look at is who the class is visible to. I want other teachers at Sacred Heart to access to have access to my course page, so I'll choose the second option. Then we click Save. This box tells me I've been successful. I click the X to get rid of it. Now I can start building my page. In PowerSchool, there aren't folders like we had in Schoology. Instead, we have pages. This first page is where I'll say welcome to students. Maybe I'll put a photo of Einstein. I'll attach my syllabus, some other important links. So I'll just call this home page. And the way I modify the text is by clicking here. And then I can change this to home page. Then I click save. Next, I'll add a different page for every unit in the course. Here I click to add a page. And then I type in unit one. We could make this a subpage so that it's inside of the home page, but I think it's easier just to put it at the bottom. Then I click Save. I can do this for every single, and it says page one, uh, unit one has been created, so I click the X. I can add another page for unit two, and then I can hit Enter on my keyboard to save. And I can do this for every unit that I teach in this course. Right now, all of these different pages are not visible to students. This icon here tells me they are unpublished. Students can only view my home page. So to change that, I can click on this icon and then choose to publish right now or on a specific date or during a particular duration. I'll publish right now. Then I click Save. And this is how we create the pages for our course. In the next video, we'll take a look at how to add content, including assignments, assessments, links, files, and text.